It is delivery day. It's here, guys. It's exciting. Moment of truth. Oh, we got lights. Treadmill, high-speed machining or rigid tapping. This is a huge game changer for us. Big Just... game changer. Let's get these tools loaded up, make some chips. What's up, y'all? It's Rebecca Wolfhanger of Millspec Manufacturing. Is there really any day that's better for a machine shop? Maybe with the exception of an employee pizza party. I'm, I'm kidding, don't come for me, it was a joke. How about you and I pop over to the portion of the shop where this new machine's going, I'll show you, and then we can dig into what we even bought, yeah? Let's go. The way we have this machine shop planned is similar to a horseshoe. Right ahead of me is going to eventually be a lathe. You see the VF4 in the background, and right here on the left-hand side is where our brand new machine is going. And if you went to IMTS last year, there's a pretty good chance you actually saw this machine being demoed on the floor. So let me give you a hint. It had a robot, and the biggest one, it only takes single-phase electricity. Did you guess what it was? It is the Tormach 1500MX, and that is the machine that is outside right now getting ready to be unloaded and brought into Millspec manufacturing. Now, if I could take a wild guess, maybe bet $5, I guarantee that some of you are gonna be asking in the comments, why did you feel like this machine was a good fit for Millspec? The biggest one for us was the right to repair. No explanation needed. You know how important that is for Curtis and I. Um, moving forward, all features in the control are completely unlocked for free from day one. Good to go, everything's right there. And you know, it's got other things like through spindle coolant, a 10,000 RPM spindle, and it even has 1,200 inches per minute rapids and feeds. Of course, another thing that we really enjoyed for being a small shop is the opportunity to bring in automation with such a small footprint. So yes, going without saying, we are getting the robot with this machine, and we are gonna be pairing that up with a shunk work holding to run our product line. But yeah, guys, that's, that's the main reasons why it's, it's awesome. So it's a win-win all around, and I'm really excited to build this machine, show you guys what it's capable of, and how it's gonna really help propel our, our company and our product line. So let's go ahead and take a gander what they're doing outside, yeah? As you guys can see, what they have to do because of our doors being only seven feet tall, they're actually having to take the machine itself off the pallet and then use a pallet jack to actually wheel it into the shop. All right, so they got it uncrated. All right, took the plastic off. What they're going to do now is take the actual machine itself off of the pallet and be able to put it on a pallet jack so we can fit it in through that 1970s seven foot door. All right, guys, moment of truth. Oh, we got lights. It's gonna be an awesome experience going from you know, a small green screen with buttons to this big of a touch screen. Not only that, it has 80 gigs of storage. So for us doing a lot of mold work, the file sizes are huge. So they, <laughs> it takes, it takes a lot to put on the controls, but this, because you can actually do everything through Wi-Fi instead of having to use the flash drives to download programs, you can wirelessly put your program through Pathpilot Hub onto the control, which is so cool. Oh, that is so neat. Tormach actually unlocks all of its features on its controls, you know, and gives them to you for free, which is so cool. Like this fourth axis rotary or like high speed machining or rigid tapping. It's all free. What? This is ridiculous. 999 total offsets. <laughs> oh, wow. Thread mill? Oh, that's going to definitely come in handy. You can actually touch off the whole tray with a single button. That's wicked. All right. The only thing I have left to do is uh, set up and calibrate this tool setter probe and the work offset probe. Maybe throw in a vise. We'll be making chips tonight. While Curtis is finishing up that probe and tool setter, I went ahead and I unpackaged all of our brand new tool holders and, of course, 
the many pool studs with it. This machine comes with a BT30 spindle, so these are BT30 holders. A little bit smaller than those Cat 40s, but um, I went ahead and I looked up the manufacturer recommendation for these pool studs, and we are going to need to be putting them at 15 foot-pounds of torque. And it's very important, guys, if you've never torqued pool studs before, always look up what they recommend, because if you torque them too high, what can happen here is the tip of the taper can actually mushroom out and it can ruin your spindle in your machine. So we don't want to do that. Let's get this started. We got the uh, tool setter mounted in there. We need to calibrate it and then do a work offset probe and calibrate it in. So this machine has its uh, probing capabilities unlike our older machine. So let's go ahead and get that calibrated. If you ever had to actually like dial in a probe, it's pretty simple. You know, just using your test indicator onto the stylus and making sure that it's within, usually the recommendations are by the manufacturer of the probe. Me, I like to be within five tenths. But, you know, now my other machine, it doesn't have uh, probing capabilities on it. And yeah, you can, you can still be fast, you know, without a probe, but all the other jobs I've worked at, I like that I've had probing because I like to do uh, what's called redundant probing. So, you know, like touching off the part in the beginning of the operation or in the middle of the operation to make sure nothing's shifted or moved, you know, or like you have critical features that, you know, you want to be able to chamfer evenly and it's, it helps, it helps a lot. And another thing, like I mentioned for the control is this whole tray, you can touch off the whole tray and the Z on the tool setter with a press of a button. And in the other machine, it would take minutes. I mean, like a good bit of minutes just to come down onto the tool setter to dial it out, to do the math, update, offset from the four inch. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. But this, just press a button and it touches the Z off and it's, it makes things so much easier, so much easier. Now this is the part we're going to be working on tonight. It's a little exhaust cover. We're going to make it out of a 1018 steel tonight. Let's get these tools loaded up, touched off and part it in there, make some chips. changer for us it's like the littlest extra things that this machine has like the tool setter the three spindle point the probe um, oh yeah i mean even a 10,000 rpm spindle which the vf4 only has a 7500 yeah and not only that the max rapid on that machine is 710 inches a minute mm -hmm. max speed is only 300 but because of its age she can only go like 287 she can't process the data fast enough. Yeah, and it's, it's weird going from that old control to a touch screen and being able to see the movements on the screen. Oh yeah. It's like mind blowing. Yeah. And the wild thing is guys, like this is just the, the 1500 MX by itself. We also got the robot with it and hopefully in the next episode, we'll have that installed. I'm excited and then for that. We specifically got that because we have a product line coming out and mm -hmm. that will help it 
so much. This is a huge game changer for us. Big Just, game changer. We will catch you on the next episode of Becoming a Proc Machinist, and hopefully we'll have the rest of this machine completely hooked up and ready to go. I'm excited. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll catch you later. Bye. Take, take it easy.